Hi folks, uh, welcome to the Sociology of Popular Culture. I'm your professor for this summer session one course, Dustin Kidd. I wanted to give you a little video introduction to myself and to the course just to get you excited about the course and ready to get started next week. We'll have our first meeting of the class on Monday evening at uh, 5.30 p.m. Uh, until 8.25 in Gladfelter 764. It's right across from my office, which is in Gladfelter 762. That's the seventh floor of Gladfelter where the sociology department is located. So this is a course on the sociology of popular culture, which means we're looking at uh, mostly commercial entertainment media, including television, film, uh, the music industry, social media, the internet, uh, fiction, magazines, a whole range of things. And it doesn't matter if you're into the popular popular culture or not. Whatever kind of culture you're, you consume, that's on the table as things that we can be uh, discussing and analyzing in the course this semester. Uh, so don't get caught up in whether or not you're a pop culture person. Um, if you consume stories of some kind or another, then those stories are part of the material that we'll be uh, analyzing in this course this summer. Um, we're going to look at some specific themes in popular culture, particularly we're looking at issues of identity and representation in popular culture. We're going to focus in our class discussions on identity in terms of race, class, gender, sexuality, and disability. Uh, but in your papers and projects, you might work on some other issues of identity that can include uh, nationality, religion, age, and a number of other factors that are not necessarily central to our class discussions, but that uh, you can use to apply some of the concepts from our class discussions to. Um, so what are the readings? Uh, what should you be buying right now? There's actually no readings for the course, no official readings for the course. Um, there's no textbook that you need to buy. There's not even PDFs of readings on the Canvas site. Uh, you're not reading for the course. Instead, you're getting the sociological content from me. I'm going to deliver that through mini lectures in the class and through class discussion. And then your job in between classes is to go out and consume what I call pieces of popular culture, consume stories, uh, watch TV shows, read books, watch movies, uh, watch documentaries, go see some sports, go to a concert. Uh, hang out on your favorite social media apps, read some websites, whatever it might be, consume some stories and analyze those stories through the lenses of the sociological concepts that I'm giving you in the course meetings. Uh, and you'll do that analysis in a series of memos that you'll submit across the course of the summer. You'll write a total of eight memos. Uh, five are in a shorter form uh, format uh, that I describe in the course syllabus and then three are a longer form uh, memo. But basically, in each of the memos, you're taking concepts from the class and applying them to a particular story that you've consumed since the last class meeting. Uh, in addition to those assignments, you'll have two presentations this summer. Uh, the first presentation is just a chance for you to talk about some particular issue or theme in popular culture that you want to, uh, to bring to the class discussion to analyze a bit further. Uh, the second presentation is actually a step towards your final project. So it's a chance for you to show us what you're working on for your final project and then uh, get some feedback from your classmates about it. The final project, uh, which can take the form of a paper or some other format, is a chance for you to make some connections across different formats of popular culture, different forms of popular culture, uh, and across different sociological concepts that we'll be discussing in class. So you'll be writing about or responding to at least five different pieces of popular culture using at least five different concepts from the class. And it can take the form of a formal paper, but it could also take the form of an online essay, um, some sort of creative work like a, a short story, a manuscript for a show, uh, a song, something that, you, that, that works with your talents uh, that allows you to make connections across those different observations, those different pieces of popular culture. Um, and then that's all the assignments. So uh, all those plus our class attendance and participation, which is almost half of the grade for the summer uh, session. Uh, so what you need to do right now, there's no books to buy. There's not much else to do to get started. But I have posted a survey right below this video uh, where you can fill out a few questions. It's anonymous, but it's a chance for you to tell us about the popular culture that you consume and how you feel about it, how you respond to it. And we'll use that to kind of get started with our conversation on Monday evening. Uh, so I'll see you in class on Monday, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then. Take care, folks. Bye.